Hello, how are you? Morning. Oh, look, both very bleary eyed. Yeah, yeah. It's very early on a Sunday morning we're doing yes, this. Yes, super early. But the skies are blue, the wind is blowing. Is, the, the wind really is blowing, isn't it? Yeah. It's like really yeah, you blowing. Might, you might hear it whistling around my bedroom window. <laughs> it gets us that. It's really blowing. Um, we are, I don't know, we're in the middle of storm something or other yeah is it someone it's, it's like your nan's name isn't it it's like i don't know oh, i can't remember what it was storm something yeah but we're in yeah. the middle of that um i think we're in the eye of it here because it's quite calm here mm. but i think it's going to kick off in like the next hour or so because we had it yeah. last night and then it yeah. calmed down and then it's going to kick off again beautiful sunny day though yeah it's get your washing out you might have to go and collect it from four doors down, but <laughs> <laughs> as it sails off into the yeah. sunset. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, so today we are talking about what we're not, we didn't plan to talk about, but we did plan to. We had two podcasts planned. We're going to do the second one before the first one. Yeah. And I'm trying to get my head around that now. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. So My today fault. we're going to talk about different sales models because I think it's come to, <clears throat> or it's more come to light in recent days with me having my shed, you going to look at a camper van. Yes. That there are different ways of selling cake other than to just make yes. spoke cakes. Yes. Um, yeah, definitely. So, um, yeah, I know we've talked about it before. We've talked about like fairs and markets before. Yeah, but I think things have changed slightly. So it's it's good to do it. It's like more like an update podcast, isn't it, today? Yeah, yeah. About, but it's also, it's quite nice models. to look at different, give people different options of how yeah. they can run their business. And yeah, yeah, definitely. Because like uh, my, my views on it have changed slightly over oh. the years. Okay. Because I've so, I, so I, I, I dipped my foot in each one, each yeah. market. <laughs> <laughs> well, so there are two there are two different ways to sell cakes. There is the on demand, which is you bake to order. Mm -hmm. Um so bespoke cakes, um, well anything baking to order. You know, you don't you don't put the oven on until the money's been paid, kind of yeah. thing. Or there is the stock holding, you bake it, you sell it. So mm -hmm. fairs, markets. Um, but kind of on thing. online um, selling, you know, like if you have a... Uh... So yeah, see, I think there's two two different routes yeah. on that. Because I've done bake to order on that as well. Yeah. So... I get yes, asked for that a lot. Do you? Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so that's what we're going to talk about. So, we're going to, so we both, um, obviously, as you all know, we both do bespoke cakes. Yeah. That's Sammy's main... Yeah, it is, and I, and I I love it. Yeah, and it, but also if you think like when we had the shop, that was a bit of both. Yes, yeah, because definitely. that was people came in, ordered cakes, ordered yeah. wedding cakes, birthday cakes, or we had the tea room yeah. where people came in and just bought by the slice. So yeah. that was a, a bit of you know we've got it here, please buy it yeah. or order it and we'll make it sort of thing. Yeah. So it's like so it's like an yeah. on demand and a stock holding type thing. Yeah. So, right. Um, so let me talk about my camper van. Yes, because you talked about your camper van last week and you were going yes. to look at it. Fill me yes. in. So I went to look at this camper van with the view of travelling around France in it on yep. my French tour and also using it as um, a base to sell cakes from at yep. um, a couple of festivals that I'm selling products at. So we went to look at it. Um, it was raining heavily. Oh, when hasn't it been? Yeah. <laughs> and the, the sat-nav took us down this muddy track. We got right. stuck in the mud. Um, we couldn't go backwards, couldn't go forwards. I had to oh, get no. out. I had to get in out your push car? In my car, yeah. I had to get out and push while steer, Sid amazingly steered us out. Oh, um, Like, uh, it was about 100 <laughs> metres of pure. We, we were calm. We were like, oh, Did you fine. have welly boots on? Um, I luckily had big sturdy boots on, so oh. um, I, I was prepared. I had a big coat on. Um, oh, I, luckily, I had cardboard boxes in the car, which I could put under oh. the wheels, which really helped as well. The things we do for our cake businesses, yeah. seriously. Yeah. 
So we go back up this track, we get lost. The girl keeps messaging us, are you coming? Are you coming? Um, we finally get there um, and she appears saying, oh, I'm really sorry, I can't get it started. I think the battery's flat. So me and Celia are like, oh, okay, let, well, let's just have a look around. She so she kept time. asking you if you're turning up and she hasn't even got it started yet. Yeah, right. I think she was checking to see if she oh, I see. could get it started. <laughs> yeah, how much longer she had. <laughs> Um, so we have a look round and I can see Sid's face instantly is of pure like ugh, oh. because it had obviously been uh, under oh. a tree for a very long right. period of time. It was covered in moss, um, all the all the paint on the windows was peeling off. It had a double glazed door as the door. Um, if, if as I in had... like a normal like a, a... yeah house door. Uh... <laughs> So okay. if if I had the time and money, yeah, I I would have taken it on and and because mm. the window that I wanted to convert would have been perfect, right? For selling cupcakes out of, yeah. But it had been used and and not cleaned, mm. not updated. Um, it was too much of a project. Yeah. So I had to say no, thank you very much to her. But and, right. and we left as the mechanic arrived, and she then sent me a video of it. See, it does work. <laughs> thought, yeah. yeah, but it's minging. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's sad. So, Are you so looking that, for others though? Um, yes, I am. I am. Right. But um, I'm. I've kind of changed my mind frame on what I want. So, right, and you saying the other day getting a van with the, um, the canopy, canopy kind yeah. of changed what I was looking at. But I've got people looking for me now as well because I've spoken to quite a few people. Okay, so I'm just going to keep my options open. Yeah, for because I don't want to buy a gazebo. I I'd no. much rather have the van. Yeah, because yeah, then I can so just load it in had, my van. Drive we off. had 19. I think it was a 1970 camper van like proper mm. bw camper van <clears throat> and it was set up so it was lovely inside it was like a proper you could go away on holiday in it um and we didn't change anything inside for the business but i did use it for the business yeah so there but was it, like a seat just inside that we took the yeah. cushion off and we could put a urn there and then everything yeah everything was out the side of the van instead of yeah in the van selling outwards yeah you know what i mean yeah so I, I feel, I've heard so many people say, oh, yeah, they've done these specific music events, which is what mm. I like. It's it's my niche, really. Yeah. So I, I'd enjoy that, um, uh, that they, they have made enough money to pay it off the loan they've taken out and to okay. then do this, that and the other. So yeah. um, I, re I really feel that, this year, doing the two festivals that I booked into, they're not massive, they're only small ones. One's a one day, yeah. one's a two day. Um, that will give me an idea of, yeah. of what market yeah, or whether it is for me. Yeah, whether it's, it's yeah, whether it's, because the thing is, is that, um, so going to a market or going to fairs like that, <clears throat> if they're good and you sell, you come yeah. back and you're like on a high and like, this is amazing, this yeah. is incredible. Um, I remember going to one, it was like a, a, I don't know, I can't even remember what it is. It was all the way down, all the way down, all the way miles and miles down in Kent. Yeah. It wasn't that far, but it was down in Kent. Um, and the guy hadn't, just hadn't advertised it. Mm. And so everyone set up and then I think we had about four people through the door. Yeah. And then that, I, at times like that, you sit there and go, why am I doing this? That, but, can, that can be soul destroying. Yeah. That, and but that's what puts me, me off with with markets. Yeah. Um, that For me, that isn't my uh, preferred um, yeah. way to sell. I, I find the whole, because I, I am last minute mini, um, the whole rush there, set up, lay it all out, and then to sit there. And, and no one turns up. Can you remember up. when we did... Um... Oh God! What was the one? The church oh, one? No, um, Netley Marsh. Oh, I, I didn't. I didn't. You went there. So we, we went, went to there. Netley Marsh. So so in Hampshire there is the New Forest Show, 
which mm. is the big big show and then the weekend before that is netley march which march which is a little show it's like a steam fair yeah and i went there for years and years as a child and i booked in and they put us miles away from mm. all the food and mm. i don't know why they did that and we didn't sell very much because of it yeah. Um, and that was like a real downer. Uh, but then I was talking to the people that were in the food area and they were like, yeah, we've done amazing. Yeah. So I think if you do something like that, um, I've learned a lot over the years from doing mm. them that make sure when, when you're, <clears throat> if you're booking into a fair or a market or a festival or whatever, make sure you either A, know the festival really well yourself yeah. and know you're going to get footfall or do your research. If it's something new or something new to you, do your research. Make sure you know they they're advertising out there. I mean, there's yeah. things that you will you can never you you can never win with. So um, down the road from us, we have another one called the Cow Pie Country Show, which I did for quite a few years. And that sounds really cool. <laughs> it's great. It's it's run by the Surrey Young the Surrey Young Farmers, darlings. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. A Cow Pie Country Show, and it's great. It's like a, a one day country yeah. fair. Yeah. brilliant and I've always done really really well there but last year they cancelled it because is it last year or the year before one year they've cancelled it because it got rained off so you can't help that you can't help weather you, you know no. that, that's what they kind of go yep yeah, it is what it is and and I um, guess when when these sorts of things happen you have to have make sure that you have in your your business plan I guess what what would you do if you yeah. have all the excess case yeah. cake and everything? Would you go on your do you go on your Facebook, on your Instagram, say I've got yeah. this cake? I'm How are you gonna offload this. everything? Yeah. Yeah. Cause I I mean I again I there was one years and years ago and I booked into a market and literally the day before they went, actually we've decided not to do it because it's too dangerous. All the gazebos mm. are gonna blow away. And I got onto Facebook and I sold everything through Facebook and I was yeah. lucky I got rid of it all. Um, but yeah, you do because because it's not like we're not like jewelers or card makers or no. you know we can't just shove it in a box and put it under the bed till next time. We have yeah. to do something with it. Yeah. Or not. But the other thing is is get yourself a big freezer. Yeah. They're quite good. Big yeah. freezer. And did you know you can freeze cake, refreeze cake? Yes. Oh, I didn't so, know you could refreeze it. Refreeze cake. No. Yeah. So I I do it I wouldn't well, I wouldn't freeze cake more than twice. But you can cuz there's nothing in it. Apart, unless you're doing something that's fruit filled, I wouldn't do a fruit filled one. No. No. Um but a basic cakes, you mm. can take them out of the freezer, you can put them back in the freezer because there's nothing in it that's going to go bad or manky. Mm. Um and I have checked with an EHO about that before anyone comes at me about it. Um, <laughs> um so yeah, you can so I know for like for the shed, sometimes if I've, so I make all my cakes, I um, freeze them all as whole cakes, then I slice them up. Sometimes if I have some slices left, I will put them back in the freezer, mm-hmm. but they can only be frozen once and then they get binned. Well, then yeah. they get binned, they get eaten elsewhere, but you know. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, so, so yeah, have, if you are doing, but I think fairs, I think fairs are really good. Um, in terms of getting your name out there yeah oh definitely because it say you want to because you could always with me i'd always take a bespoke cake with me as well yeah so yeah. they can see oh you do birthday cakes as well yeah. you do this as well blah 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 so you can incorporate that but what because i what sort of markets would you there's like um um farmers markets so yeah there's so there's farmers markets there's like a normal market there's yeah. Like food festivals, fairs, summer yeah. fairs, like school fairs, and village fairs. Yeah. Um, um, sometimes you get like a, a thing going on. We we get a food thing going on in yeah, Southampton. Like food festivals. Yeah. Yeah. So there's like, the only thing that you need to look at is that I remember. Um, so when we were in Romsey, there was a market every week. So it's like a normal yeah. weekly market. Yeah. And there was a cake lady out there. And she mm. did really, really well. She always did really well. She was a lovely lady, mm. um, but her cakes were quite cheap. And I think that's because it was a regular market. People mm-hmm. had an expectation of what they would pay. Whereas yeah. if you go to a food fair, people yeah. are in the, the like, the, oh, I can, I'm, I'm going to eat lovely food. I'll pay a bit more. So yeah. depending on where your your price point is and your mm. target market is, pick your 
pick your markets well. Yeah. Um, pick and choose them. So food markets, we've got some down in Epsom. There's like a vegan market and then there's a, 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 yeah. a, it's a, a world market. So people yeah. are willing to pay a bit more for those. Yeah. But your normal festival. So I'm yeah. thinking of all the festivals near me, little music festivals that pop up. Yeah. For the and day. They'll, they'll they'll pay a bit more there. Whereas if you go to like a normal Thursday afternoon or Thursday morning market, yeah. fifty. It's like boot fairs. I know I see people doing boot fairs, and I think, how are they making money at boot fairs? Yeah, yeah. Because people yeah, are. Yeah, it's a mindset. It's a mindset of the customer. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um. Because so, when you go to, when you go to these events, uh, do you sit down and work out what you want to make? Because in an ideal world that is what should happen isn't it yeah so whenever i've done it i've i've said right so how much is my pitch mm -hmm. how much is my pitch my pitch um cost um so i need to cover that for starters um and then how much money do i need to make at the end of it so therefore how much product do i need to make mm -hmm. can i get away with making more will i sell it because mm -hmm. there are some that i did here um there was one at the Children's Trust that I used to do. They used to do three times a year. I would be there three hours and I'd sell out every time. So every time I'd make a bit more and make a bit more and make a bit more. And I used to sell out every single time. So I mm. knew I could I could sell there. Um, so, yeah, it is, it's a really, really tricky one. And I've been asked this, this question on DMs quite often. Mm. How do you know how much to make? Well, you don't. Yeah. Well, you don't know how much to make. I'm I'm doing a small festival in um, July, mm -hmm. and I d I don't know what the footfall is. I, I've only been to it once as as a uh, paying customer myself. Right. <clears throat> and that was years ago before COVID, and um, so I messaged him to say, "Oh, how many <coughs> tickets have you sold?" And he went, "We've only sold sixty so far." And I was like, "Okay." And he went. But we normally get four to six hundred people through the door on the day. Okay. Went, oh, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> okay. He said, yeah. So he said, don't be worried about that. There's only sixty now. There will be right. an increase, and it's normally like two weeks before. Yeah. So I'm going to go back and check nearer the time because yeah. I'd much the other rather thing... make under than yeah. over. Yeah. It's. I mean, it's never a bad thing. <sighs> It depends when you at what point of the day you sell out, but it's never a bad thing to be an hour before close yeah. and have an empty table. That's not yeah. a bad thing. No. That's it, as long as you've done all your sums and gone right. I've made enough money to cover my pitch, cover my costs, cover my wages. Hmm. The fact that I've sold out, yes, I may have sold another thirty quid's worth of stuff, <clears throat> but hey, I've sold out. I've covered everything and I've yeah. made a profit, and that's good. Yeah. Um, the other thing that I would say is if you're doing fairs and markets, if you're doing like country fairs and festivals, hold your nerve with your price. So put your price up. And if no one buys at 11 o'clock in the morning, don't worry about it. You know, if you don't sell anything in the first three hours, don't panic. I see yes. it so often with other it's people. It's not like The Apprentice. <laughs> yeah don't drop your price because what people will do because i know as cake makers we don't always agree with this but people don't always want to eat cake for breakfast no they no, want their right. lunch yeah. they, you know they want to go and have their savory lunch and then they'll come back for cake mm. and i see it so many times with other cake makers that by midday they've dropped their price and then they sell out it's like if you had just held your price you would have made one and a half times profit on that yeah so hold your nerve until like the last hour or hour mm. and a half, then drop your price if mm. you want to get rid. And that's the other thing. Just drop your price, get rid, cover your costs. Yeah. If you don't want to take it yeah. home. Yeah. But or do sure you know. good trades, trades yeah. with other stall holders. Oh. Yeah, I've done that. Oh, my God. Jerk chicken <laughs> seasoning. <laughs> the amount of times I've come back with ciders and yeah, yeah beer and all sorts of yeah. stuff. I'll give you a couple of cakes if I can have a pint of beer. Yeah, that sort of thing. Done, you I've know. done that. I've done that yeah. as well. It's I mean, it's not. A, I found a packet that I, I got <laughs> of jerk chicken that I got last year, and I thought, oh, I'm <laughs> going to use that for my tea on Monday. <laughs> I mean, no, it's not going to make you. It's not going to run your business. But a good barter at the end of a, a market, yeah. it gets rid it's of your product, good. and you get to try other product, yeah. and it gets your product into someone else's mouth. Yeah, yeah. which is never Definitely. a bad thing. So let's talk about a different um, kind of. 
um, baking and, and selling is special occasion days. So like, so you're I, I, like me, I'm a bespoke maker. Yeah. Um, do I incorporate or do you incorporate special days like Mother's Day, Father's Day, yeah. at Christmas? So yeah. I used to, um, especially during COVID, I, I did all the cre luxury cream teas and stuff like that. Yeah. But I don't, and I delivered them as well. That was all part yeah. of the package. I find I don't like doing special I occasions. Don't. Because I, I find I, the pressure are quite high. high. Yeah. I understand people do. Yeah. I do, you know. I, um, and I know, I know quite a few people who pr that is primarily their business. Yeah. They, they work part time. Yeah. They they use the special occasions, and people know that they do them. Christmas yeah. boxes, you know, um, yeah. on the Christmas boxes. And I I find these things just stress me out. Like you, yeah, they just I find it pressure. The because the thing is, I suppose it's one also one of those. Things, I mean, you you, you talk about think people that are um are working as well mm. there's also so like the on demand like the bake to order that has um like bespoke cakes <clears throat> that is seasonal quite often mm. isn't it so you think you've got say weddings are just beginning in april they kind of fizzle out october time so then mm. you've got april october to april where you haven't got a lot what do you do do you, you do you fill the holes with things like this and i think a lot of cake makers do you know they use like a, a twin model they use the bespoke and they use the the stock yeah like holding because they they fill the gaps yeah between each side i i have done like halloween boxes and i've done christmas stuff but then you start to panic if you're not getting the orders in. And then it's like all the orders have got to go out at the same time because yeah. Halloween only happens on one day. Christmas well, only happens, you know, and I, I find when, the pressure of it quite that's high. That's when you have to work out your business model. Mm. You work out how much profit you want to make, how many you want to sell to get to that profit, and then you stick to that and then yeah. you incorporate into your advertising. I'm making 12 boxes. Yeah. Um, that's, that's and make it. And the thing is that, that that actually almost makes it like it creates a scarcity that people go, oh, I yeah. better order from her. Otherwise, yeah. I won't get it. But yeah. I mean, I personally, I I mean, Easter's just been and gone and I haven't I didn't do anything Eastery at no. all. No, nor did I. Um, and people always ask me, oh, have you been really busy? Have you, did you do an Easter promotion? Have you done a Valentine's yeah. promotion? And I'll go, no, because I was already busy. Yeah. And I had filled the, those slots. Yeah. I had, yeah, you didn't have a any more capacity. Yeah, I went, yeah. I, I'd much rather make the one large cake, which is what I did. I did a three tier Valentine's cake. Right. And, and yeah. that covered the amount that I would have made yeah. selling Valentine's packages. So it's funny, I don't I I do make bespoke cakes. I don't enjoy them as much mm. anymore. Mm. Um so so if we look at like the pros and cons to like the bespoke, this bespoke um it's a higher ticket price so therefore you've got a higher margin. Mm. Um you're only baking to order so you're not going to have any waste. Mm -hmm. Um you get to make big cakes that, have, you know, you can use your designs and everything, yeah. you know, so you've got all that. But then on the other hand, I personally, I find that it's like a, a constant fight to get orders in. There's that you, you live hand to mouth a little bit. Oh, see, um, I think I. You have to have a customer base. You have to be known. Yeah. yeah. To do I'm, it. So, so if I'm, I'm on the next, I'm on that next level. Yeah. I have, I have, a constant stream from my Google, my yeah. Instagram, um, and my website. So there are always inquiries and orders, yeah. uh, questions but you've got, in my you've email. You've got to box. be known, haven't you? So and that's and that's where the other model, where yeah. the and the search engine dropped. optimization works yeah. for me on that score right. as well. But also, because, you're you're quite well known. Mm. So so people will because so your SEO will work because you come up a lot and people go to you a lot and then they look at your website and then Google goes, Oh, so people are looking at her and it like it, it builds. Whereas mm -hmm. if you're just starting out or you don't have that, yeah. yeah, you don't have that customer base. If you don't have a customer base to start with, yeah. Bespoke cakes are quite difficult to break yeah. into. Yeah. So Yeah, having... because the first year I started as Daisy Cake 
company um, on my own, I did do um, uh, cupcakes, yeah. Christmas and Valentine's promotions. I did incorporate yeah. that into my business model. Yeah, to, to get your name out there, to get people yeah. knowing who you are. Yeah. So it is, it, it is something that, you know, if you've got the customer base, you bespoke cakes all the way because you will always have a constant, a full order book. Yeah. If you're newer or if you're coming into a different area, to get those people into your order book in the first place, you've got to get out there, yeah. you, you know. And, yeah. you, quite and I quite get often get quite, mouths. when I did luxury <clears throat> cream teas, um, I do them for the special occasions, I quite often get a, oh, hi, could you do me a luxury cream tea? And because it's just the one, I'll go, oh, okay then. And I get yeah. a little cash injection yeah which is yeah. quite nice I did four the other day for the same person so I, one of the ladies down the road from me here she does <clears throat> she does like um office lunches and office cream teas and things like that and they pop up like once a month or so mm. or oh, they still went into a, an office this week so you know it, it it's it, like you say it's like a little cash injection that she does yeah um I also find with the other th reason that I don't make many bespoke cakes and it, it's something that I I've come to accept of myself I hate admin I really hate the admin side of it yeah I find a lot of that. yeah and I find the email and, and you know you've got that email sat in your inbox and you've got to deal yeah. with it and it nags in my head yeah. if you're great at admin and if you're on it with admin do it you know absolutely but I after 15 years I know what I'm bad at mm. and admin is one of those things that I'm bad at mm. See, and I know it, that I've it, lost I've lost business because yeah. I haven't got back to people quickly. yeah I, actually um I had three pieces of paperwork for follow-up on weddings that I, I had got stuck in underneath everything and it wasn't until I went through all my paperwork the other day and I emailed them all back they all me emailed one emailed to say oh because of the lack of response she'd gone somewhere else yeah another one emailed to say oh thanks but I've gone uh, my friend's making my cake now yeah. and then then I had a, a no reply so yeah. I've lost out on business because I haven't I haven't got yeah. back to them um, and I know that it's, I mean, mine's not because it's got lost somewhere. Mine is because I sit there and I procrastinate and I don't do it. Yeah. And I know that. So I've had to accept that of myself. Mm. I do, I do have a website. So talking about online earlier, mm. on my website, I have cakes that you can buy online. So yeah. celebration cakes, you can buy online, you pick a date. Um, so it's almost like doing, doing the lovely cake but not having to do the admin because they just go yeah. click, 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 click. Yeah. Order comes through, bish, bash, bosh, off the cake goes. Yeah. So that's kind of, I've I've recognised my failing and try to have a workaround. So yeah. I've got it all on my website now that people can just order. on. Mm. My, or if someone mess messages me and says, <clears throat> I'd really like a birthday cake, what do you offer? I can just point them out that website. Yeah. Because I know yeah. that I just don't do it. Mm. Um. And that whether it's time, whether it's, I don't know. I'm not even going to comment on what it is. Just... <laughs> See, I, I've i had <clears throat> uh, my email stresses in the past, mm -hmm. but that is what I am good at now. Yeah. Because I have, I mean, if I get emails on a Friday or Saturday, they may have to wait till Monday or Tuesday. Yeah. But I have. But you've a got an auto reply on your. Yeah. And I have mm -hmm. a one week turnaround. So my email box might go bigger and smaller and bigger and smaller, yeah. but all those emails get replied within one week. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, I'm just, I just know I'm not good at it. So I've just, <laughs> it. Um, but your, so, your strengths are in other areas. My, yeah. And that, 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 I think after, after 15 years in business, you have to recognize where your strengths and your weaknesses are. Yeah. And my strengths are not, and I'm sorry to anyone that's all tried to order cakes off me and then haven't had that for like four months. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I do recognize that in myself now. Mm. Um, mm. So, um, so, but so that's, that's like the pros and cons. Is, is there any other bonuses to doing just bespoke that you can think of? Um, you always know what orders you have coming in. Yeah. I like that. Um, and, I get quite a lot of calls where I have to turn people away 
I like the fact that if I've got a gap, I can go, oh, yeah. Yeah. I can, I can slide you into my uh, baby yeah. book. Um, I, I like the fact that um, if I'm having an, going somewhere, I can, you know, cancel that space out. Yeah. Um, put that date in my diary. Um, I'm going to my sister's. Blah, blah, blah. So I, I work my diary around me. I yeah. like that fact. Um I like being a bespoke cake maker. Yeah. I, I quite like it. So, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry if you can hear the dog. He's I can hear the dog. <laughs> shall, I, shall I go and let him in quick? <laughs> oh, don't let me just pause. Because um, I can hear him. Yeah. He's, um, he's insistent. Okay. Dog is settled. We're all yeah. okay. Okay. Um, right. So I, I like doing on demand because I like... Like you say, I like you, you know where you are, you know if you've got something in, you've got and you're not wasting anything. Um, but I have actually come to enjoy more having stock and just selling it. Mm. I've actually that's kind of where I've now because now I've got the cake shed, it just feels I it's just like all the pressure's gone. All yeah. the pressure, it's like I'll bake the cakes, I'll put them out there, I'll do a mm. bit of advertising, mm -hmm. I don't have to deal with anyone, I don't have to think about it. Yes, people are coming, they're taking my cards, they're going, oh, can I order a big cake, can I order like a whole cake or a half cake or a bespoke cake? And it's like, yeah, go and check out my website. Um, and I feel like this is the most fun thing I've ever done in my yeah. business. you found your niche. I think I have. Have. Mm. I think I have. After 15 bloody years. <laughs> Jeez. I've had many I, fingers and many pies. Oh, I've yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, and and so the, the thing that I like about it is that it's minimal admin. Um, you're taking your product to the customer mm. rather than the customer coming and asking for your product. And I mm. like that. I sort of like I like the fact that I've baked it please eat it. Mm. If you don't eat it, whatevs. Mm. And yeah, you have bad weeks and yeah, you'll have good weeks and the weather, is, it, a lot of the stuff is weather dependent and, and things like that. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't have the pressure of the admin. Um, there is higher, there's a higher wastage, definitely. Um, I don't get a lot of wastage because I'm beginning to learn to know how to work it and that just comes with experience mm. um there are lower margins mm. i would say mm. um because you're selling lots of little things rather than one big thing big so thing, the margin yeah. is yeah so you have to sell in quantity more than quality like one. that sounds wrong oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no but it's true you have you, you can't be selling like you know, you're you're selling like for bespoke cake. You're selling one big thing with a big mm. high ticket um, mm. on it, whereas you know I'm selling lots and lots of little bits. Mm. Um, but then you again you start to build a customer base, and that's really important. It's to get that customer customer base. Mm. Um, so yeah, that's. I mean, there are lots lots of different other models around that. So you, you like you were saying, we've got the seasonal boxes. There's also like wholesale. People do wholesale. Yeah, that's quite low margin, but that's yeah. quite often on a baked yeah, order. Yeah, because I, I was, we were asked by um, Haskins if we yeah. do, um, you know, something like that. But, yeah, uh, you know, it, so we were asked when we, we were at the shop. We were asked at Bradbeer's. Um, yeah, that's right. But because they've got to put their margin on it, yeah, yeah, it's it never quite. I think that on a bigger scale, that would yeah. work. I mean, I know some people that make whole businesses doing yeah, that. And I think yeah. I think that's, you know, if that's your thing, that's quite a nice, again, quite a nice way to work because it's probably minimum admin. Yeah. Um, and if you're, if baking is your thing rather than decorating, then yeah, you know, that's a, yeah. that's a good way of, of working. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I think we've covered everything. I think we have. I oh. think, I think I like the two, the two together yeah because like one fills the holes of the others the other mm. you know you I, feel prefer, the gap I prefer bespoke but with a little dip of turn yeah in the other area which see is i what prefer I'm do this year 
I prefer and, it the other way around with a little bit yeah. of bespoke. So I yeah. do like I'm still I'm doing like one or two cakes a week, mm. but they're like just little. Yeah, they're not big, big big cakes. Yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm still keeping my hand in the other end. Mm. Mm. We would love to hear if anyone else has any other ways they sell. We would love to hear them. Mm. Um, because I think it's quite an interesting because people kind of go, oh, you're a cake maker and just assume one thing. Yeah, there, there's just like a whole niche of different yeah. areas. All these different things, the yeah. yeah. Um, so we'd and love to, I mean, like I, other things like cake feathers and the, things like that, like the biscuits yeah. that some people do or, you know, there's so many different yeah. So, if, yeah, if anyone has any different places, different ways, different things they do, we would love to hear. Um, because, you know, we're, we're all, I'm up for expanding and looking at other options all the time and talking about yeah. other options and giving other yeah. people ideas. I think it's, it's a good, good thing. Good things. Right. Well, Shall we um, slip into um, product of yeah. the week? <clears throat> I'm, I'm ready to go. <laughs> It's time for product of the week, product of the week, product of the week. <laughs> also, can I just can we just address anyone that's watching on YouTube because you can watch this on YouTube. Sammy has called herself Blind Sammy today. Can we address why you are blind, <laughs> Sammy, today? <laughs> because I can't find my um, close up seeing glasses, and I've got my far away. <laughs> seeing glasses on today and i can't see <laughs> so she's not completely blind just a bit blurry yeah yeah am i in I, soft focus today am i looking like <laughs> I, did, I did just now think oh gosh you've got really good like aura today you've like you've got soft <laughs> and then i was like oh yeah it's her glasses so yeah you know that you know when you watch it on telly and they've got that for like the two yeah. that's what you kind of look like so I've got two I'm pairs. looking all misty. I Yay. have a pair for upstairs, a pair for downstairs, both. Anyway. Oh, anyway. So I'm, I'm going to go first. Go on then. I think it might be your turn, but I'm going oh. first anyway. So I um, have done quite a few Lambeth cakes recently. Have you? I love a frilly Lambeth. I do as well. And I've been branching out. I've been using different nozzles and everything. Ooh! But the one nozzle that I cannot find in my kit you know because I've had product of the week before my nozzle display yes. case which I went and bought one yes yes a bit yes so I don't have where is it here we go I'm going to open it up I don't have a flat nozzle I have a teeny tiny one but I don't have um what when I you say flat it. yeah so it's just, instead of being a curve or uh, thin at one end and fatter at the other it's right. just a flat Literally just line. a line. Yeah, it's an icing tube tip, wide plane, ribbon. It's a ribbon oh. nozzle. So it just does a line like a ribbon. But right. you can you can wave it. You can yes. do all sorts of different things with it. Frilly. You know, I don't think I've got one of them either. Oh, I've got, I've got lots of the others. I've got teeny yeah. tiny ones, but I wanted that middle range one. Yeah. So I've been on to Cake Stock, um, Cake Stuff. It's out of stock, obviously. Oh, but um, you can get one for um, recommended retail price of 95p. So um, <laughs> I'm going to... So, you know, but um, uh, it's not very often I've lost you. Where are you? Is you in there? There you go. I'm here. <laughs> Hello. Um, I don't very often buy nozzles anymore because I, no. I have... Because I, you've I got have, them all. Yeah, I have what I use. So I was quite. Do you like, know that's oh. that's really good at that point because I needed some nozzles yesterday and I've got hundreds of nozzles and I'm yeah. probably missing hundreds. But yeah. you just use what you've got, don't yeah. you? Yeah, you know what you know. Yeah. And when I got that um, little um, nozzle stand, yeah. I went through and I took out all of the like quadruplets yeah. I had. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I've nozzles. got 58 number two nozzles. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had loads of like, I think number 18 is a basket weave nozzle. Oh, yeah. I had loads of them, loads of them. So I cleared out. So I know exactly what I have. Yeah. I have I have got a lot more of the star nozzles. Yeah. But 
um, over time, sometimes they change shape. So one <laughs> nozzle will give one shape and one nozzle will give another. So I do tend to keep up those. But I, I so yeah. I've, I've got lots of star nozzles, but I was looking at this yesterday because um, I did a, a cake yesterday with a lot of frilly icing. And I was looking at the star nozzles and I've got some that have got lots of points and I've got some that have got medium amount of points and then I've got yeah. some that have got like four or five points yeah. and they all look slightly different yeah. and do slightly different things. Yeah. So you have to keep them. Yeah. So you have to have all of yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> it gives that different effect. So yeah. yeah. So I'm going to be on the lookout for a flat ribbon. So a flat ribbon. I don't know. Yeah. You can get updated. You can get lots of different sizes. You can get small. I've got, I've got lots of the teeny tiny ones. Right. But yeah. any that are like i guess you need for a lambeth cake really yeah 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 there you Good. go my product of the week excellent um so my product of the week this is something that we've had since the shop Ooh. right and we still use it in my kitchen which is i'm indoors today not in yeah. my kitchen today and we still you use are. them indoors and I was like, oh, because when we moved away from the shop, we started using it indoors. And then I thought, in my kitchen, I don't have any of this. So I went and bought some the other day. And that is Bako Glide. Oh, what, the spray? No, 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 no. Can you remember at the shop when we did scones, the um, non-stick mats? Oh, yes. So it's like, an, and oh. it comes on a roll. So it oh. comes on this roll that we've cut it into three. And... Oh. And it's just like a non-stick. It's like a oh my god, yes, yeah. I know. So it's, it's like non-stick yeah. mats, but it's like um, it's like toaster bags. Paper. Yeah, it's yes, got toaster like toaster bags are made out of. <laughs> yes, it's like greaseproof paper that you keep cleaning and reusing and cleaning yeah. and reusing. So we cook oven chips on it and things yeah. like that now. So when you put stuff in the oven, we just use a, a sheet of this Baker Glide. Yeah. And I thought, I thought outside, I said, I don't have any, you know, so if I'm doing cookies or scones or anything, I'm using greaseproof paper out there and I don't want to, cause that's using the world resources. Yeah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went and bought some more Baker Glide. Um, and so it comes in a big roll. And if you fold it into three, you can have three squares. Of yeah. It. So it's yeah. probably, it's perfect for a baking tray. Yeah, it's for a baking sheet. It's absolutely yeah. perfect. Um, and so the stuff that we've got here that we use still in my kitchen, my domestic kitchen, I think how many years old that is. Yeah. That's got to be at least, what, 10 years old? Mm. And it's been well cleaned and it's still going. Um, yeah. So, yeah, Baker Glide, I did look it up. You can get, I think I got one from Amazon, but there are obviously other places. That you I can bet Lakeland from. do that product as oh, well. Oh, do they? I should imagine um, so. That's the sort of thing they would do. Uh, Robert Dias. Yeah, all of them. And then none of them are expensive. So the one that I bought, I think, where is it? Um, so I bought, I think it was £12, 12 pound for a sheet. And then you fold, so you got three sheets. So that's mm. what, £4 a sheet. Yeah. And 10 years worth of work. Yeah. So that's pretty good going, you yeah. know, and it's yeah. still going strong. It is still yeah. going strong. Um. And macarons, you make, yeah. make macarons on it. Yeah, it's just, it's just a, a versatile, yeah, product. It is. I like that product. Yeah, thanks. Hmm. Oh, right. Okay. Um, okay. Thank you. So you're listening. not going to see any more bands now, then? Um, not, not this month because okay. I've, I'm, I'm moving, moving and everything, and um, I've got social yeah. events that I'm going to. Social Sammy. Yeah, so <laughs> social Sammy. Yeah, um, yeah, and uh, so yeah, but I, I'm on the lookout. Yeah, if anyone knows skills. of a good van for Sammy, yeah, I'll tell you what, you should, you should right. So, I you know, we, we were going to buy a boat years ago to live on, yeah, yeah. So, I've always had this like this little obsession with um, floating homes, yeah. and there is an Instagram account called I think it's called Floating Home. And they live on a narrow boat and they've just bought a van that they're doing up. Yeah. And they're doing the whole rest. So they're cutting holes in the side, they're yeah. cutting holes in the roof, they're insulating it. It's quite an interesting. Let me see. If I, I, can I do follow quite a few people like that on Instagram. Yeah. And it's, um, it's and their journey and everything. It's which is Adam where Dot. I got I got go the on. inspiration to go to France oh, did you? from a, a couple who uh, travel around the UK in their van. Van life, but but they went to um, 
France this last year. Right. What, yeah, are, they, what are yours so, called? This is this one is called Adam Dot Floating Home. And they live on a they live on a narrow boat, but they're also doing up a van. Mm. Um, I will click in and have a look see. Yeah, because I you know I'm just a bit. I'd like to live on a boat, but mm. hey, doesn't matter. That's another story. Yeah. <laughs> so don't forget to like us, subscribe to us, follow us, um, leave a review. Dance. Da oh, dance. Yeah. <laughs> um uh do all get in the touch oh sorry sorry i i did mean to up, right so you know this is an update an update do, 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 newsflash newsflash <laughs> so you know the episode we did on flowers on cakes yes right um so i emailed so you know i'd emailed um the starters agency yes vincent at the food yeah. service agency. Yeah. So I emailed him. I went, I hear that they're going to be some guidelines because it's these things keep knocking about the internet. Yeah, there are going to be I've guidelines. Noticed, I've noticed right. that. I have received an email back from him. What? Oh, oh, oh. Right. Um, dear Bronya, good to hear from you again and in some ways most timely. We are aware of the rumours and have been trying to manage expectations as a result. We had a brief consultation on a draft floristry guide, a new concept, a departure from traditional guidance as such. The results of this concept of, of the consultation on the draft were very mixed. And as a consequence, the expected publication was shelved and we are currently working on alternative strategies to resolve some of the issues raised. The clear divergence of views means that we will disappoint some people, whatever we do, but we are working to try and make something of greatest utility for the majority of stakeholders. Whilst we are not starting from scratch, it does mean that significant work is now still needed and thus I am unable to give a timeline as when anything may emerge, uh, may emerge as a result. Purely by chance, I was actually working on the new development this morning, so can genuinely say it is progressing, though it is too early to give details. We very much appreciate all the input from the consultation and see this as an opportunity to refine any output to beat to best meet expectations your continued interest is very much appreciated wow kind of that's words, brilliant Vincent. so yeah so this was um about putting fresh flowers on cakes we heard that there were going to be guidelines i messaged him so that is the result right now there are no guidelines um no. go back and listen to our episode where i read the email out that he sent us um there are lots of lots of advice that we give on that but no official guidelines at we will keep you up to date as yes. and when. Yes. Okay. So, I think that Thank is it you. this time. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Good. Sorry, I suddenly thought, oh my God, I've got to put that in. Sorry. <laughs> I think that was brilliant, brilliant letter. <laughs> but um, thank you for listening and yes. bye, 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 bye. Oh, hold on. I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs>